First time ever for the World Cup to come to Belgium and a phenomenal opportunity to race in the huge port city. A sold out field of elite men and a short sprint fast opportunity on the technical cobblestones. 750 meters without the wetsuit and the crowd able to get oh so close because of the port. Perfect conditions for fast swimming and in fact would be a Belgian athlete giving some great energy to the home crowd. Memories of almost racing in Hamburg where the crowd gets oh so close. And Martin Van Riel along with Jonas Schomburg from Germany would be the two athletes out of the water first and second. The big surprise, Tyler Mislachuk of Canada with a phenomenal swim. And then a group of a dozen men all tightly bunched together within about five or six seconds. All eyes would be on the trio of men. Could they use that opening swim to make the breakaway? And they did the best they could through the first kilometer as the Canadian Tyler Mislachuk would work hard, try to pull the other two men, but Martin Van Riel would struggle to get into his cycling shoes and that would be all that it took for the group of a dozen athletes behind to eventually engulf the trio. And with some flat riding, some cobblestones and some terrific opportunity, you would see at least a dozen men at different times trying to take the lead trying to get themselves into the front end and see if they could make a small breakaway. Taylor Reed from New Zealand was into that group. Storms from Norway was into the lead bunch as well as Matt Sharp from Canada. And Storms would in fact make a small break later into the 20 kilometer bike ride, but it would only be a matter of time before the large chase group would engulf them once again. And as athletes use up energy trying to make small breakaways, I think all eyes eventually would be on the transition zone, trying to get in there ahead of the group of 15 or 16 athletes. Martin Van Riel right there, seen trying to finish off the 20 kilometer bike ride and get himself back in for a great start of the five kilometer run. As the men hit the blue carpet, all eyes would be on the two Belgians, Kelly Jeans into the lead bunch as well as Martin Van Riel. Mislachuk would be into that group. Taylor Reed would be in there as well. But in fact, it would be Doherty from Ireland who would be the first to hit the start of the run course. And the men would stay very tightly bunched through the first kilometer as Matt Sharp along with eight or nine other men would be shoulder to shoulder through the second biggest city in Belgium. Eventually they would start to whittle their way down to just five or six men. Two of the Belgians would in fact be into that lead bunch. Eanes from Belgium along with Martin Van Riel. Tyler Mislachuk was having one of the races of his life. He had never been on the podium in a World Cup race and Doherty having another terrific race for him as well. As the men came into their final opportunity to make the push, it would be Taylor Reed the first to really go for it. And with two Belgians, a Canadian and a Kiwi into the lead bunch, the chase group of athletes, which includes Storm, would be 10 seconds back and have to watch that final sprint. Taylor Reed would make the push. He'd been a silver medalist in the World Cup. Could he claim his first ever World Cup win? Yelly Jeans from Belgium would absolutely give everything he had in front of the home crowd. And as he pushed to the finishing line, Reed would come up just an inch short as Yelly Jeans from Belgium would claim the victory. Reed would be second and bronze medal to Tyler Mislachuk. I feel pretty amazing. Like the sprint was so hard and I, well, I, I didn't have much left, but then but the gap was like one meter and I hear the crowd cheering and I just had another gear. So I went into the next gear and I went over him. Sprint finish was hard. Um, I was actually stoked when it was coming down to a sprint finish. I, I backed myself over that short distance. Um, but yeah, I just ran out of gack in the last maybe like three or four steps. I was just going nowhere. I just felt like I was running through like jelly. I'm happy to be on the podium. I'm pretty stoked with that. But obviously third, uh, you know, half a second back. Uh, just didn't have legs in the last 200. I backed myself and maybe the wrong decision. Uh, but uh, stoked to get a, get a wit good a third and uh, had a dig out of the swim with Martin and uh, Jonas. So try to break there and that, that kind of cooked my legs a bit. and. Uh, yeah, I just tried to rally after that. 